Okay guys, welcome to another episode of Lawn and Garden. In this episode, we're going to be covering using a lawn sweeper and some suggestions on what to do with the grass clippings, the leaves, and all that. All that, right after this. Okay, here's the lawn sweeper. It's folded up and tied up, as you can see. A little easier to transport and takes up less room when it's in storage. Let's go ahead and get this untied. Okay, this one's by Groundwork. It's a few years old, as you can tell by the dust and the dirt. They're pretty basic. Yeah, I have a brush as you drive around, it just sweeps up stuff. The key is you want the brushes down low enough so they pick up the grass, but not too low that they don't spin. Over here, we have adjustment levels. Okay. It just it just puts all the grass clippings and leaves and your yard debris right in the basket. Okay, here's the area, now that I went over and took the sweeper over it, as you can see it's not perfect, but it is a lot better. What I forgot to mention earlier, one thing you can't do is pick up sticks with it. Okay, you're going to have to pick these up by hand. Okay, here's one suggestion, get yourself a little plastic baggie, shove some of that grass in there. This makes an excellent fire starter. I know I had a video where I actually use the grass to actually start my campfire. I'll try to have that posted for you. Put the link up in the corner. I mean, even throw some leaves in that. Huh, trust me, they'll catch fire too. It doesn't take much to start a fire, so that's going to be enough to start quite a few fires. Now for the second idea, this is just a compost bin that I got at Lowe's years ago, I mean years ago. I mean it's nice to spin around, but if you don't have a compost bin, you can just throw it in a pile. Probably need to add a little bit of water to it. Has some old newspaper in there, Dirk's bedding. Throw your grass clippings in there, add some water because it's going to need water to decompose. If you ain't got one of these, just like I said, throw it on a pile. You can throw your food scraps on it, you'll have to go out and turn it every now and then. There's some water, well, if it's a pile and it rains, you don't have to put water on it. But if it's dry for a few days, you're going to want to stick some water on it. But I'm going to show you what the third idea and the idea I'm going to use. Okay, the reason I threw it on the ground like that is because this tree has roots coming up and it's like free ground cover. It breaks down and turns into dirt. Let me show you some of the places I put it before and you'll, you'll understand what I mean once you see it. Over in here was one big root sticking up and I, I just 
just kept throwing grass on top of it and you can see it's starting to actually fill in right there's the root I can feel it okay I, I know some people are saying how does sweeping your lawn fall into the subject of surviving on a budget and making it easy pretty simple I just showed you how to do three things for free I showed you how to make your own fire starting for camping I showed you how to make your own compost for gardening and I just showed you how to make your own ground cover okay all three of those things were free if you notice a pattern I have one channel survival on a budget made easy and I have a whole bunch of different series but in some way they're kind of all interconnected like this will be a lawn and garden video which shows you how to come up with something to start a fire how to put compost on your garden you now all those things kind of tie together the garden showing you how to make your own food making your own food showing your budget recipes they're all tied in together okay I, <laughs> I guess I've been windy windy enough this time but uh if you guys like the t-shirt I'm gonna have a link to that right up in here my left to be your right okay to the video I did in my uh, experience with E plus promotions do me a favor watch the video show the girls some love and hit that like button one more thing before we go um, I'm like a 275 I'm really getting close to that 300 subscriber mark so if you do me a favor and hit that subscribe button I'd really appreciate it as always thank you for watching